What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a checklist in Revit. So when it comes to working on any large project, that being architecture, structure, or anything else in your life, it's usually good to have some sort of a checklist to follow as you do your work. Now this is especially good when it comes to architecture and when it comes to revisions, working uh, and collaborating on large projects. It's always nice to have a, a some sort of a checklist just to see have you fixed all of the things that needed to be fixed and so on. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add notes to your project. So if you're either working by yourself and just wanted to note all of the issues that you have to fix, maybe after a consultation with your client or with your professor if you're at school. Uh, so basically how to kind of add those, um, uh, everything, uh, how to note everything that has to be fixed. And then later on, how to create a checklist where you can just go one by one and check them off as you fix them inside of your model. And then you have a nice little outline where it shows you uh, have you fixed everything that needed to be fixed. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial. And uh, now if you want to learn more about this, uh, this is uh, uh, this is part of the whole schedule in Revit uh, tutorial or course that they have on my website. It's available in the description. So the first link in the description takes you to my website. There I have many beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced courses. So check it out if you're interested. Also, if you're interested in all of my Revit project files like this file that I'm going to be using for uh, this particular demonstration, check out my Patreon. That's going to be the second uh, link in the description just below the video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So this is the project that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. This is the office building project. And actually on my website, I have a complete 15 hour course on the topic of how to create this uh, cool looking office building and then how to produce all of the necessary uh, building documentation for a complex project such as this one. So anyways, uh, for this project, let's just navigate here to the floor plan. And then we're going to be leaving some notes here in the floor plan, maybe some issues that have to be fixed and then uh, what we're going to be uh, doing after that is creating a uh, basically a little checklist uh, which is going to help us uh, help us show which notes have been checked off as uh, completed and which have not so uh, let's do that so first let's add the notes so for notes I go here to the annotate tab and then we use a symbol family for that it's called a note family and in that uh, uh, in that schedule course, I explain how to create this family. So if you're interested in that, again, that is on my website as well. So anyways, you want to place this note family just like that. Uh, then you can select it and add a little leader, just like this. Now currently it doesn't have any arrows, so it looks kind of odd, but you can select it and go here into edit type, and we can assign it maybe a proper arrow uh, arrowhead here. There we go, looks much better. Then you want to select that note family. And for example, in this case, let's say we have to fix this elevator. So let's go here to the note number. This is going to be note number one. And let's call this one wrong elevator. There we go. So this note is basically telling us that the elevator is wrong. And instead of adding text here, it's much cleaner just to have a note like this. And then you select it and it, you get the text here. Uh, anyways, let's go again to symbols. So here, let's go like this, add a leader, perhaps here. Uh, this is going to be note number two. And here we can see larger door. Hit apply another one here and here we can see this is note number three we need a bigger kitchen okay and finally let's add a note number four Select that, go to add that leader, and then this can go up to the column, for example. I don't know, maybe like that. And this can be note number four. And for this one, we can say revisit column dimensions. Uh, 
Okay, so we have four of these uh, nodes, and now we have uh, now we have to create a node block schedule, which is going to basically display all of these nodes. So for that, what you want to do is go here to the View tab, and then go to Schedules, open up the drop menu, and here we have the node block schedule. So when you open that up, it looks like this. You want to select the symbol family, uh, which is the node block, and here we can call it the node block checklist. There we go. And then uh, we can add the note number, note text. And then also what they like to add for uh, for these is here we have to we have the ability to add a new parameter. And then uh, we can add maybe some a parameter that we can call checked. And then y and so yes no and the discipline is going to be common and the type of parameter is going to be a yes no parameter uh, of course it's going to be an instance parameter so you just click ok and now we have that parameter as well now what this is going to do when i click ok it's going to create a little note block schedule like this we can extend it a little bit to display all of the note text and uh, here we have that checklist where we can kind of uh, check which are done and which are not done. Uh, now the downside to this is uh, I actually don't want to have the uh, the option to check these on and off here in the schedule. Uh, the reason for that is here when I go back now to one of these families it's going to have that parameter here in the node family. It's really useful to have that parameter here only because then you can only check it on or off once you check that issue so or that note so you're not going to have the ability to go here to the node block checklist and just check them off without uh, just looking at the floor plan and making sure that the problem is actually fixed so uh, because of that I, I like to retain that kind of uh, that uh, additional uh, reliability where I just want to make sure that uh, I can uh, I cannot check it here I actually have to go back here and just make sure to see if everything looks okay. Uh, but then also, I, I, I also like to have the ability to see which are checked on and off. So what we want to create is an option where we can display which of these are checked uh, on or off or checked as finished or unchecked, but we don't want to have the ability to change it ourselves in the node block checklist. So let me show you how can we create uh, a solution for that. So I'm just going to go here to the properties panel for this uh, schedule and then uh, open up the fields and then I'm going to add a formula or a calculated parameter. So here we can go to a formula and this is just going to be called checked. Okay, uh, this the type is going to be a text parameter and the formula is going to uh, basically go like this. If, and then open parentheses, then you want to have these larger open parentheses, and then uh, we have to add that parameter which is checked yes, no. And make sure that you type everything correctly. This is case sensitive, so yes, no. Closed larger parentheses, comma, so if this is uh, checked as yes, then you want to add a symbol. Now, I just have uh, this open up in another file where I can just paste this in. So this is going to be for yes, and then this, if I just copy and paste it here, is going to be for no. So I just found these symbols online, you can just check, like check and X symbols, and this is going to appear. So this is going to appear as yes, this is going to appear as no, and then you want to close parentheses, and that's it. So you just click OK. And in some cases, it is going to give you some issues. So here, for example, it doesn't want to use this sign. So let me try a different one, a smaller one. So let's click OK. So it is sometimes going to give you issues. So let's try to add this in parentheses. Hopefully that will do the trick. There we go. That did it. Uh, so uh, basically, that's that. We only had to add parentheses. So maybe we can now use the larger one. So let's because I actually really like the larger one. Okay. There we go. It works. Uh, okay, so once you have this, now when you click OK, as you can see here, 
we have the option when we turn this on, uh, here it turns on. But also we don't want to have the ability to turn it on. We only want to have the display, but not the option to change it. So what you want to do now is go here to the formatting field and then uh, you want to make sure that the checked yes no is turned on or checked on as a hidden field. So when you turn that on, it's going to look like this. So basically now our checklist uh, it looks like this exactly how we want it. So we have the note number, we have the note text, and then we can see if it's checked on or off, but we cannot change it here. So the only way to change it is to go back here, just make sure that, okay, this is the wrong door. Uh, let's make it a different door. Oops, this doesn't work. So anyways, uh, you make it a different door, and then you can select this and just check it. Same thing goes here. If we change something with the elevator, we can just go here, check that. There we go. And now when we go back to the note block schedule, as you can see, the first two are checked on and these are checked off. So that's how you can display your checklist in Revit. So that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new and interesting. Tell me in the comment section below, do you think this is useful? And is this something that you're going to be uh, using in your future Revit projects? Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you're interested in those courses, check out the first link in the description, it takes you to my website, and also if you want the project files like this huge office building, uh, check out my Patreon, that's going to be the second link in the description. Also, if you want a complete Revit uh, template for uh, architecture, uh, check out the third link in the description, it takes you to my website, there you can get that as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, thank you for watching, uh, and have a nice day.